hey what's up people in today's video i want to share with you how you can animate a static web page inside hitfilm using uh, the 3d capabilities of the software i have this example right here i have a screenshot that i took of um, the home page of unsplash.com um, so we'll basically be animating this um, this home page without a real camera we'll use the it hit films and build uh, 3d capabilities to create a nice animation out of this static web page so um, to do that you just right click on your screenshot or if you have a video footage uh, you can use that as well right click on it and click on make composite shot and uh, for the duration I'm gonna go with three seconds long and 90 20 10 80 60 and uh, click on ok then we're gonna turn this layer into 3d and now it's going to ask you to add a camera allow it to add a camera let's create a new point layer make sure this point layer is a 3d as well and then we just parent our new camera to the new point layer all right so now we'll just animate our our web page so once you expand the new point layer you just zoom into the web page and just you can animate the rotation y or any of these rota other rotations just rotate the y axis and I'll just um, you know try to get a nice camera angle on this so maybe something like that and now we'll just create a keyframe on position and let's just create a keyframe on rotation y as well then we'll go to the last keyframe and I'm gonna change this to the positive 27 right so we can just maybe make it 20 and change the position like that and we can you know move it down and we can even either zoom into this or we can even zoom out out of this so let's try to create a nice uh, camera movement in your animation all right so now if we take a look at this We'll just play this through have our nice camera movement all right so now we'll just add a screen texture on top of this um, so as you already know our screen is made up of pixels so we need to create those little uh, pixels on this on this animation so to create that we'll create a new plane layer and uh, I'm gonna call this screen texture and color can be anything and click on and yeah uh, width we're gonna set this to let's make this 3000 by 3000 all right and then on this layer we'll just uh, search for grid effect and apply it on this layer and inside the grid uh, we have the point 0.1 point 0.2 and the border radius we're gonna set the border radius to 1 and we'll change the position so we we want uh, the horizontal as well as the vertical lines and just uh, you know you can zoom into this and just create a nice um, you know texture the screen texture on this maybe we can just decrease this a bit more i guess maybe let's do 0 0.6 can we do it Yes, there we go um, make sure you uh, right click on your screen texture go to blend and set this to subtract and uh, on the transform under transform we set its opacity to 25 you can play with different blend modes and different opacity levels and also make sure that you change the screen texture to 3d plane now that way our texture will also animate finally what we can do is we can add a shake to this animation so let's create a new great layer and we can call this shake camera shake um, and the effects we're gonna search for the same effect shake under crunch apply it on this layer and I'm gonna turn down the amount to 9 and speed to maybe around 0.50 I'm gonna increase the smoothness and I'll just scale this up a bit right something like that and now if you play this you'll have some nice uh, uh, fake camera shake inside your animation 
and uh, you can play around with different settings and try to come up with a nice animation so i think that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one